And I noticed he wasn't drinking at all. The man's got a problem. He's got a big problem. Uh, we had a scratch. Skip Tuck had to could not be here. So Linda Luke is back on stage for another reading. Here she comes. Hey, the guy with the bar, he really would like to sell some beer. I don't want one, Bill. Hey, Cinnamon Cove has requested me to do a story I did in 2009, which was my first season here, my first variety show. It's the story called Rinder Sulla. Rinder Sulla is a spoonerism, and if you don't know what a spoonerism is from your high school English class, I like to say it's, I tell the story backwards, but it's not really backwards, you're just switching letters around in the words that you're saying. For instance, instead of saying handsome prince, I will be saying prancem hints. Instead of saying glass slipper, I'll be saying sass clipper. So it makes the story kind of interesting and funny to listen to. The other thing you need to know about this story is that when you think it ends, it's not ending because I add a moral to the story, and after that I do some philosophizing. So now for my story, Rinder Sulla. Here is a story that will make your crush fleet and give you poo skimples. It is a story for fee bulk and biggle toe peep. That's we folk and bigger people too. It is the story of Rinder Sulla, who lived in a harp douse at the top of a hill with her mean old Mebstother and two sisty uglers. They always made Rinder Sulla do all the wordy dirk while they sat around cheating auklets and meeting ragazines. Well, one day when Rinder Sulla was flopping the moor, the two sisty uglers showed up. The Prince and Hintz is throwing a fancy dress throw, and we're invited. Don't you wish you could go? Poor Rinder Sulla ran from the room with ears in her ties. She ran to the kitchen, where she was just about to chick a see a frickin'. When suddenly there was a blinding flash of flight, and in front of her there stood a feudable berry. Rindersella looked at the feudable berry and said, Who are you and why are you here? The feudable berry announced, I am your berry fudgather. Oh, berry fudgather, may I please go to the fancy dress thrall? Hmm, okay. With one, one wave, wave of her magic, magic wand, wand, she transformed Rindersella into a babishing Rooney. She wore a long getting sound, a necklace of poopies and rolls, and on her few were two tiny sass clippers. Rindersella was about to run out the door when the feudable berry stopped her. You must promise me to be mown by midnight. Render Selva promised she would. Soon she cast to the camel. <laughs> that came to the castle. Who do you think were the first two people she ran into? The two sisty uglers. But they did not Cinderize recognize her, so they introduced her to the ransom hints. He was taken with Render Selva's beauty. You are so beautiful. You remind me of beeping sooty. May I dab this hands? Later that night, he was about to ask for her mare in handage. When suddenly the slot trick swelled and Rinder Sella banned from the brawl. But as she banned, one of her two tiny sass clippers fell from her few. The pransom hints leaned over. I must find the woman whose soot this flipper gets, for I have a lullin' and hove. Early the next morning, he started going house to house. 
and you can't change that around. It wasn't long before he came to the Hark Dose where Rinder Sulla lived. He docked upon the Clore. Who do you think answered the Clore? The two sisty Uglers. But their beat were too fig. Next it was Rinder Sulla's turn and the flipper pitted surfectly. <laughs> The two were married and lived happily ever after. Now there is a moral to this story. Rindersala never gave up. And as you walk down the pathways of your life, don't you ever give up. Christopher Columbus never gave up. Benjamin Franklin never gave up. Abraham Lincoln never gave up. Oliver Twiddleby, who's he, you ask? See, you don't know, because Oliver Twiddleby gave up. Always remember this little philosophy. Though some of your snuggles be slung, and some of your bubbles be trained, if you try and have no humbles, how will you recognize your blessings? What I feel bad about is you guys understood that. <laughs> Great job, Linda. We can't wait to do that in 2024 again.